Hello boys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain you the concept of bindings in Blazor. So what the binding is and what types of bindings are available, we are going to discuss in detail over here. So let, this is my basic application using Blazor server app template. Let's run this application and see the behavior. Mm, okay. So this is the same application that I have created in my previous video on Blazor. This is home page counter increases value of 1 inside the p tag rendered over here and it's generating some random data so we are now going to work with this page over here what the binding is we have two types of bindings available one way and two way in one way data binding uh, let me explain you over here in one way data binding when i click on this button the values increased here but it's not possible that I type something here because it's a p tag and value is not going to increase on the other side only the value can be increased from here so this is known as one way data binding and let me explain you by this the pictorial diagram that it needs some action or event to be triggered as I'm clicking this event is triggered and the value is updated into the variable and new value is rendered into the p tag so what I want now, I want that there should be two way of bindings. For example, let me convert this. This is my p tag. Okay, this is my p tag. Let me explain you if you are very new to Blazor that what's happening. This is my basic uh, variable, uh, which is uh, de having default value of zero. If you set the default value to five, the current count will display or render the value of five over there. Or if you change it over to something else, plus equals to uh, five. Okay, uh, this is for those who are new to Blazor. So let me give a little introduction over here. How does it work? What's happening? This is the default value rendered, which I have set to five. And when I click on this button, the value is increased by five. Okay. Now, I want a two-way binding over here. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to convert this static or constant rendering of input, uh, of current count into input, and I will use bind attribute over here. Okay, this bind attribute is used for two-way binding behavior, and inside the double quotes, I will type the name of variable to which I bind I want to bind this tag to bind this input tag to for example here we go and let me close it so this is my input tag which is binded with the value of this variable and by default this variable will have a value of 5 and this 5 will be increased by let's increase it by mm, 10 will be increased by 10 on every click so let's examine its behavior here we go uh, that p tag has been now converted into the input and whenever i'll click it's increased by 10 okay without any refresh this is the magic of blazer okay and now because i have used this bind attribute over here what I can do the real magic over here is I can type in any value and from there the value will be increased by 10 okay let me show you that I have written 100 and now on the click the value will be increased by 10 from the point w from the value that I entered in text box for example if I enter 250 value will be increased by 10 this is the real magic of bind attribute so uh, this was my simple explanation for bind attribute i hope you have enjoyed if you have got any question you can definitely type in the comments and we will continue our binding in the next session as well thank you very much